So a positive integer is 4 less than another. So if we let n be our integer, um, then we have another one that's 4 less than that. The sum of the reciprocals of these two integers, well, the reciprocals would be 1 over n and 1 over n minus 4. Um, that's supposed to equal 3 eighths. So if we add those together, 1 over n plus 1 over n minus 4, it's going to equal 3 eighths. And then it wants us to find um, what the larger integer is. So we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is n times n minus 4. So we're going to distribute that in. This one already has an n, so it's just left with an n minus 4. This one has the n minus 4, so it just needs an n. And then the 3, oh, we need an 8 too, because there's an 8 in our denominator. So we're going to get 8 times n minus 4 and 8n. All right, so the 8s here um, divide out, and we're left with 3n times n minus 4. So we get 8n minus 32 plus 8n equals 3n squared minus 12n. 8n, 8n and 8n is 16n minus 32 equals 3n squared minus 12n. Since we're dealing with a quadratic equation here, we need to get everything um, together on one side and have the other side equal 0. So 3n squared, and if we subtract 16n from both sides, we get minus 28n, and then add the 32, equals 0. Well, the only way we know to solve quadratics right now is to factor it. So 3 times 32... Let's draw our box, and uh, we have 3n squared in one corner and 32 in the other. Okay, so 3 times 32 is 96n squared, and we need the factors of 96n squared that are going to get me 28n. So what I do is I go into y equals, and I put in 96 divided by x. This is in a TI 83 or 84, you can do this. And then you can go to the table and find the pair that will get 28. So you, you're looking for... Um, whole numbers. So it'll give you the x value and then you want y values that are whole numbers. So I found it. It's going to be um, negative 24n and negative 4n. If you add those up it equals negative 28n and if you, if you multiply them out it's 96n squared. So factor out the GCF of the first, the top two boxes, and that's just n. And what's left, you put on top here, so you get 3n and minus 4. And factor out the GCF of the bottom, uh, which is 8. Um, but 3n times 8 is not, neg not negative 24, so we need to make that a minus 8. So the ones in white here, those are our factors. We get n minus 8 times 3n minus 4 equals 0. I don't have room for that. So you get that n equals 8 and n equals 4 thirds. So 4 thirds is, is not the larger one, 8 is. So 8 is going to be your answer.